Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We, uh, I save and quit after we ended up getting our Shine Sprite and whatnot. Or not our Shine Sprite, our uh, thingy. Crystal Star, that's it. So we still have like the, uh, the Peach and the Bowser to go through. Vivian is very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Gah. That that's it. <laughs> like that was such a worthless cutscene. Ooh, we have a scientist version of the X Knot. Are you sure about this? Speak up, X Knot. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured over the research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears that sealing power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. My cat's sitting right in front of me right now, just watching the screen. Soon I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into a depth into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the X Not regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world, yes. A world made by me, about me, for me. Ha 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 ha. I do, don't step on the keyboard. <laughs> there, you can sit there. Good girl. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I, I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No. No, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask you. If you care, if you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? D don't, don't swipe at the screen, sweetie. No. <laughs> now the first question. What will happen if you collect the seven crystal stars? Which will be granted. Thousand year door opens. Thousand coins appear. Uh, the thousand year door opens. Correct. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the x -Nots? To become a superhero? To conquer the world. Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Tech, is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the door? I want it to be an extremely rare badge. Incorrect. Please start again from the beginning. Uh, hold on. <laughs> no, sweetie. No, no. You can't go back there. Down you go. Down there. Good girl. Okay, so it's not an extremely rare badge. That kind of sucks. What is the goal of Grotus? Conquer the world. Uh, a thousand year old demon soul? Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do with the ancient demon soul? Cherish it always. Bring the demon back to life. Hang out with it. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Uh, crystal stars. Correct. 
You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. And I did not tell you anything. I asked you a question. You just answered it correctly. I told you no such thing. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to your room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. Yes. I will take progress. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitz... You guys were literally at Glitzville. Like, <laughs> before. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come on. You there. Two tickets. One great and evil king, one sweet young thing. G good gravy! Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hack! <laughs> Life's too short! He just ran onto the tracks. His life is going to be short. Hey, what did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. Because he's a cheap cheap. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? That is a huge thing. Unless it was just the angle. Yep, just the angle. <laughs> Forget this wimpy blimpy. I'll ride this, baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Not her broom. Wait, Lord Bowser, please. Ah, now my special dirigible dir deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. Never heard of the word dirigible. Dir 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 uh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, did he just run out of gas? <laughs> that thing runs on gas. Okay, well, that's it for Bowser. Oh, no. Oh, it's an actual Bowser level. Okay, World 2-1. And we can use fire underwater. Yes, because that makes sense. I want to get... I want to flame this. Thank you. Yes, give me all those coins. Give me the meat. Oh, that was us being small, too. The meat! How am I not... Why are there X-knots falling? How was I not burning the coral here? Meat! What? All the points. Give me all the points. All the coins, too. That's a lot of coins, actually. Oh! A Goomba hit me, really? Alright, we conquered another of the ta of the castles. And we have 103,000 points. Mm. 
This isn't glitchful. Ah, ooh, a chew. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Wow, it's Bowser, the Koopa King. He'll eat us, someone help. <laughs> huh? There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing over here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, Glitchville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. And then, the hot dogs. Oh my gracious. Yum. <laughs> you have fun too, hmm? Not the balloons. What, Bowser? Is that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it. It's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. Alright. I think that means we're done with uh, that. And we can actually continue our story. So are we still in Twilight Town? Is that, the, is that like... Are we starting there? Ah, we are. Good. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all the time, so we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? Yes. Er, well, alright. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Roeperk, huh? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Uh, I do want to sleep here so that we can get a peachy peach real quick oh I used the in coupon ah well I mean either way that we're gonna get what I need so all right have a nice twilight we grab the peachy peach come out this way perfect Okay, so, now, we have, I can think of one place immediately that I want to go. Um, oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The x knots plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster. And use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find this demon spirit. But the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Marvin, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit. Alright, so there are... You want Speedy G... Okay, and then we want... So something we can do now is to get to the other side of Rogueport, is we can just do that now, which is fantastic. I have eight. I don't care about Peekaboo. Uh, let's grab Item Hog. And we'll grab... We don't have enough to trade. Okay. And now, I think it's down this way, is the correct path. Just jump onto the damn pipe. Thank you. Okay, so I believe it's in here. This is it. Perfect. So let's grab Vivian. It went down and it hurt me. How dare it. Alright. We 
get Spike Shield. Makes Mario damage proof when jumping on spiky foes. Like, that is such an important badge. It won't protect us from overworld spikes. But it will protect us from in-battle spikes. And that is a badge we're going to equip immediately. Um, and we will just get rid of... I'll get rid of that and... One of the... One of the other things that we have here. Uh, let's get rid of Hammer Throw for now. Because Spike Shield is very important. Okay. So we can upgrade Vivian. Which we're going to do uh, immediately. We're going to go check our lottery. We're going to check on troubles that we need to do. Um, we can check out the bad shop. We can see if the mouse is back to see if we got a lot of money. We can cook a few things. Like, we have, we have some stuff we can do. Alright, since we're right here. We're gonna power up Vivian. Yes. Shazubi. Shazubi. Then your makeup. So now she's at 25, and now she gets a, um... What is her move now? Fiery J No, I wanted to look at that. Uh, attack all foes with flames that set them on fire, which we can't use because we don't have enough flower points. <laughs> um, mailbox SP. Mario, or rather, the great Gonzalez. I realized that I never thanked you for handling my request, so I decided to email you. I never thought for a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the wrestling trunks for me. After you left here, know what Mush said to me. He said, there are some things that can only be understood by fighting. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yes, he's planning a comeback. You should come by the Glitz Pit to see if you, can, if you get some time. You're just the type of star the fans crave, you know? Take care, Jolene. Hello yes, hello to you. I am Bull Bulbor. I have... Been I have been unable to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dry bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They are actually flowers that have had their clocks of their lives adjusted to tick just a little slower than normal flowers. I hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me again with the above-mentioned items. Yours in spiciness, bull bull war. All right, well, let's uh, let's focus on, uh, like, some troubles and stuff. Hi, ow. Ow. Let go. You're not allowed to bite. No bite. Okay. Hi. So we are going to do... Why can't... Oh. Zesty. I want you to try and find the legendary cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place, so there's no way an old gal like me could get it alone. Please come to my house in Rogueport Square for details. Yeah, because I mean we've already we've already gotten the um uh the cookbook, so like this trouble is free. <laughs> We're just gonna run. Slowly and surely, get out of my way. Come to you. Hey, you took on my trouble? Well, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz. Ages ago... Get down from my chair. You're not... No. Bad. <laughs> Ages ago, there was a great legendary chef named Maitri Delish. Rumor has it you instantly became a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it is an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I've recently heard that somebody who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. 
There are many secret rooms in the creepy steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, stumble bum. So, then. Want me to cook something for you? Nope. Oh, what a complete letdown. I thought I could put my skills to the test. Did you find that cookbook? Here you go. Ah, that's it. That's the book by Maitri Delish. Give it here, quick. Aha. I, I see. Aha. Doodle da. Two flame. I've got it now. Just glaze the mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Now that's some book. Talk about effective. Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. We get a honey shroom. Now I can use the recipes that require two ingredients. Just ask me anytime. I'm really going to put my soul into it and cook with a vengeance from this day on. In which uh, we do want to cook. I'm going to cook a peachy peach by itself. Because I don't know what this will do. <laughs> but then we have things like, uh, you know, honey syrup and a mushroom. But then there's a honey syrup and a super shroom. And a honey syrup and an ultra shroom. And then maple syrup with all the shrooms. Okay, so a peachy peach just makes a fresh juice that's not entirely useful. Um, What is this? Super Luigi, book one, now on sale. 64 coins? Yeah, we're going to buy it. <laughs> we don't need to, but I'm going to. Uh, we're going to withdraw. So we have a jam and jelly and an ultra shroom. I'm going to cook that. Ultra shroom. I want a golden leaf. I want a turtley leaf. Um... Mushroom. How much space do I have? Three spaces. Uh, I need a I need a honey syrup, which I think I have one in there. I do. I saw another ultra shroom, so we're gonna grab that. And I saw another honey syrup, so we're gonna grab that. Okay. Cause now now we're gonna get into some interesting cooking. So let's go in here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the Ultra Shroom with the Jam and Jelly. Sorry to keep you waiting, not sure. I mean, Jelly Ultra, 50-50. Like, that is stupidly strong. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a honey syrup and a super shroom. And that'll get us a honey super. There we go. Now, does did we get a recipe for... We did not get a recipe for just a regular uh, honey, honey shroom. So we have a honey syrup and a regular mushroom. Then we're gonna we're gonna cook the golden leaf. To see if that makes a special tea. Because, like, the turtley leaf made, like, the Koopa tea. Um, yeah, so that was just the honey shroom. Okay, so... Do I have two golden leaves in here? I do. Perfect. So let's do a golden leaf just by itself.
Now, I have not looked up any of the recipes that are a part of this game. I'm just going based off of what I have from memory. Looks like it came out perfect. We got a zest tea, which is 20 flower points. So let's try a turtley leaf and a golden leaf. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not sure. A healthy salad. Okay. Uh, what else do I currently have in my thing? Mushroom, slow shroom, couple of attacking items. Um, did we get... So this is a... Let's see. Ultra shroom. Mushroom or super shroom. So maybe I need to cook the slow shroom for that. So that's a honey shroom. That's a honey super. Which means this would be a honey ultra. So we do need to make a honey ultra. So let's try that. Oh wait, no. I don't, ha I don't have another honey syrup. So hold on. So we do need to buy a honey syrup. I am curious. Like, what is the, uh... So, the Jelly Ultra sells for 150. That is a lot. <laughs> Get rid of the stupid virus detector. Okay. Okay. So let's just cook the slow shroom and see what happens. A shroom roast. Okay. And then we need to make the honey syrup. And we'll do it with the Ultra Shroom. And we'll get the Honey Ultra, which that'll get two of the Ultra Shrooms. Ultra Shroom recipes uh, done that require syrups. There we go, a Honey Ultra. So if we look at our recipes. Oh, we're now at 13. So there we go. Honey Ultra, Jelly Ultra. So that's Maple Ultra. Maple Shroom, Jam and Shroom. Right? And then uh, the Super. So we'll have Maple Super, Maple Super, and a je uh, Jelly Super. All right. So we got the Shroom Roast. We got a salad out of that. We got both of our teas. But we haven't really expanded too much in terms of recipes. All right, so let's store some of this stuff. I will keep the Jelly Ultra around. Because I kind of want to go uh, back underground and just see, like... Um, what the Jelly Ultra will sell for. Yeah, I'm going to store a couple of this stuff. Uh, we'll store Earthquake, Regular Mushroom... Now, I think, what if we withdraw? Because, like, the horsetails I've been keeping for a while. What if I did a mushroom? I, I highly doubt it, but... We're going we're gonna to try a horsetail and a mushroom and just see if that does anything. And then we'll work on some other stuff. So mushroom, horsetail, I 
don't think this is going to do anything, but... Looks like it came out perfect. A zest dinner. Oh, wow. Okay. So that worked. All right. Let's, uh, let's grab Speedy G so that we can just move around a little bit quicker. We're going to do our little lottery. Seven three seven four or seven three three four. That's fine. We get another mushroom because of that. Um, I think there's actually somewhere we can go in there with our new tube roll ability. Um. Okay, but first let's go down here. Is Mr. Mouse back? He is not. So if we come over here, I'm curious about the shop down here because I know the shop down here sells Ultra Shrooms. So I'm curious what they would buy a Jam and Ultra for. And we just have to, we just have to look. Yeah, okay, so 200, 200. So if I sell, they will buy a Jelly Ultra also for 150. Okay. So you spend 400, you can make 150 back. Eh, not great. Okay, let's go back up. All right, so now let's do our next trouble. Newsletter from Mayor Dower. Um, sure, let's do this one. Would you please deliver the Silver Cup newsletter routing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. All right, let's go. So we got to pick it up, we got to deliver it somewhere, and I have a feeling that's going to cause us to need to deliver that somewhere else. Like, you know, just a small little four-person letter chain or something like that. Down we go. Mario, you accepted my trouble request. My mind, now that's something. I hoped you deliver the Silver Club newsletter routing slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take care of it for me? Sure. I mean, that should... Honestly, this should be somewhat easy to do. I'm just trying to think of the path that we need to take, and the path isn't that difficult. We were, like, floating there for a second. Alright, so we come over here. Come down here. Then we go this way. 
Now, I think it's the one on the left that we want. Oh, perfect. Whoa, hey, look at this. Flower point plus badge. Has that been sitting there and I just haven't noticed it? Because, I mean, that's, that's coming on right now. I mean, the fact that we can have 10 flower points now so we can actually do things, like, okay. Uh, sure, we'll do hammer throw. All right, where's the stupid elder? Well, hey there, Martio. Are you here to listen to my pontificate of a spell? Why, this is a Silver Club newsletter routing slip. You came here to give me this? Twilight Town's mayor sent you. My last youth fountain bath there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip now needs to go to the Petalburg mayor, but my hernia is acting up. Say now, could you take this to the mayor of Petalburg for me? I'm counting on you. Okay. I mean, that's just a quick, just go over to the other pipe. <laughs> I will take the flat. I don't believe that I've missed, that I could have missed that for however many times I've been here. I might have to review and see if that was there before. Alright, we are literally right here, which is perfect. Murphy, what can I do for your own man? Here you go. Eh, the Silver Club approval slip. Is that what from the puny elder? That old so-and-so. That reminds me, that super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. Since I'm the last one to sign it, it just needs to go back to the Twilight Town's mayor. Heck, heck, but dewy, but I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to the Twilight Town Mayor? Thanks, Murphy. <laughs> I am curious. Um, let's go to the shop. Just curious what a jam and jelly will uh, sell for here. Especially since we can get mushrooms here for two. Jelly Ultra still 150. Okay. All right. And so now we just need to go to Twilight Town, so we do have to come back this way. But I mean, that wasn't horrible for a, um... Uh... Mail delivery one. Like, that wasn't bad. Because, what, it was, uh, in the original Paper Mario, there was, like, a ten-person chain that you had to go do, which was disgusting. And it wasn't even to, like, prominent characters. It was just to, you know, characters. Like, here, it's like, oh, take it to the mayor, the mayor, and the mayor, basically. But in the, um... Oh... But in the original Paper Mario, it was like, take it to this random toad that's in, uh, you know, the castle square or whatever. Alright. There we go. Down we go. Alright, I assume this is going to be for like 30 coins. Yep, we delivered it to the last person. Mayor of Petalburg has a cold. Well, that... Well, tarnations and diddly dang it's. Oh, but you brought this back with you. What? Thanks. You sure are a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. 30 coins. I mean, 
We Silver Clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan, Age? What? <laughs> we discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. Ha! <laughs> I will take 30 coins. Like, that was not horrible for 30 coins. Okay, so we are done with that trouble. Which means we have one trouble left. Uh, but I specifically saved that trouble for the next video. So when we come back, uh, there will be more of this. We are just going to fly through this battle real quick. Coop says 20 HP. Oh, somebody's throwing a heart at us? Okay. That's fine. Easy peasy. Alright. So, when we come back, more of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you all, and I will see you next time.